Hey, what's going on guys? It is Caleb here on the Inner Tubes. In this video, I just wanted to take a couple minutes to get real with you guys and talk about a deep, dark secret of mine. And that is that I hate coding. I know what you guys are thinking. What? You're crazy. You're like the tutorial master. <laughs> oh, stop it. No, really. Stop it. I agree. <laughs> I don't know. Because I actually like coding. I like it, but I also hate it. If that makes any sense. My boss wants me to redo the entire command line interface. <laughs> oh, yes. oh, this will be fun. <laughs> yes. Oh, hey, mom. How you doing? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it works going good. It just gets easier every day. Success! Hey Caleb, how you doing? I apologize for calling so late, but I just want to let you know that your deployment last night, you know, had a lot of bugs in it and now the uh, server's down. So <laughs> I'm going to need you to fix that by tomorrow. And uh, also, don't forget to have your code ready by tomorrow. I'll have you do a code review with John, you know, the, the new intern. <laughs> yeah, we promoted him to senior software engineer. You know, that could have been you if you weren't such a disappointment all the time. <laughs> well, I'll uh, see you around. <laughs> I quit, you know, I quit, I quit, it's whatever, I quit. The reality is, is that coding can be a very fun, fulfilling thing to do. At other times, it's like this life-sucking virus that you can't get away from. So you gotta find that middle ground where it's like, I really enjoy coding, but I understand that it can be frustrating and here are some things that I'm gonna do to make it not so frustrating. So the very first thing is to get a clean workspace. This goes with your coding environment too and like Google Chrome and stuff. Just get rid of all of the tabs. <laughs> Sometimes I just wish I could go back to the old days when you just had one tab on your web browser. <laughs> Second thing I got for you is to get adequate sleep. So obviously with coding, the most important organ is your brain. It's 99% thinking. In order to think efficiently, you need to give your brain time to rest. And that happens towards the end of your sleep cycle. So if you're sleeping like four or five hours a night, you're missing out on the most important time for your brain to recover and refresh. Getting a full night's rest can also help reduce anxiety. So that can help you check code in or do your next code review without feeling like you're gonna get fired or like you're gonna go hide in the bathroom and cry. So here are some things that I use to help me sleep. <laughs> so here's a stress away oil. I try to put this on every single day. <laughs> uh, the next one I have here is lavender. You can try putting this on before you go to bed. And last one, peace and calming. This is just a chill out oil. So if you're wondering what to do with these, you can take lavender and put like five or 10 drops in a diffuser, diffuse that at night. Or what you can do is just kind of open it up 
flick a little bit on your finger and then just put it on the back of your neck and do that a couple times. That'll give you what you need. The third thing is to take breaks. And I know everybody says this, so it's nothing revolutionary. A lot of people will do five or 10 minutes every hour or even a half hour. And oftentimes with that, when you're stuck on a problem, you take a 10 minute break, you come back and it'll just slap you in the face right there. If you sit there and try to think about it all day, you wouldn't have been able to. This is actually going to tie very well into number four, which is to write less code. What I'm trying to say here by telling you to write less lines of code is that usually the solution to a problem is solved in a very small number of lines of code. The problem is getting the correct lines of code. <laughs> the fifth thing is to study more and work less. So hopefully in the work environment you're in, you have the opportunity to just sit and read books or read articles online, because I'm going to argue that these are an invaluable way to spend your time. I learned this concept when I was picking up Angular. So Angular is a JavaScript framework. And when I first used it, I was just copying and pasting things online. And that's part of it. That's the way you learn. That's totally okay. But I was finding myself getting very frustrated because I was basically copying and pasting all this code and had no idea how any of it was working. And when something wasn't working the way it was supposed to be working, I had no idea how to fix it. But then I just slowed down and I got a book on Angular, studied a little bit, and then I reapproached the problem and was able to actually finish the solution I was going for. The sixth tip I have for you is to have a healthy lifestyle. Now this is huge and you often don't even realize it because you're coding, you hate it, you're miserable, you hate your life, your job, everything, and it's terrible. And what you don't realize is that the time when you're not coding is really what's miserable. So you're going into the coding already upset, already not prepared to do your work, and then it becomes much more challenging. Some ways you can do this is to try exercising every day, eating a vegetable. <laughs> That's totally not helpful. Try juicing some vegetables and drinking a vegetable juice on a daily basis. With this is to take a vacation, like a legitimate vacation. Now you don't have to spend thousands of dollars going to Maui or whatever, <laughs> or renting some sports cars in Vegas. It doesn't have to be like that. Seventh option is to pray. There's times where challenges literally make me question my career choice. <laughs> and what I do for these is I will go to bed and I say, Lord, take it away, take it away from me, wake up. And a lot of the times I'll have this new idea on how to approach the problem. So yeah, guys, those are my tips. What do you guys think? Do you guys have any good tips to how to survive development when you hate it? <laughs> and how do you enjoy it? Please leave a comment below and be sure to subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. And I will, of course, see you in the next one. Thank you.